Look in on Morgan McDonald as we mentioned, an Olympian in the 5,000. Certainly the 1,500 is an important race for 5,000 meter runs as far as getting the pace, getting the juices down. But we've seen this in track history where you've seen the Pavo Nermis and the Hisham El Garouges who have run both those distances. So there is carryover. Certainly there is precedent there. So as mentioned, Sam Ellis out in front pacing this race and we'll see how this men's affair shakes out here at the Sunset Tour. It's Jack Anson, the 25-year-old for Illinois State, who has the school record in the 1500 meter there, 339.17. Trains at Flagstaff, was a 1500 meter All-American, seventh at the 2019 Outdoor Champs in the NCAAs. And he is being nipped at by the heels by Mikudo Kaneko. So the, so the pace is reasonable here early. So about 45 through, through 300 meters. So not too quick, but but it'll set them up. Yeah, right about 45-3. So it should set them up perfectly. Yeah, that's Ansi right on the back. So a little Sam bit slow Ellis. even. Ansi, Ansi's trying to create some separation there, but now getting some heat from behind. We'll see who's creeping up on him there as they make this turn. Morgan McDonald looks pretty good in fourth. Looks pretty comfortable. As Neville Bard looking good in third. So field's still intact because the pace isn't real fast. Yeah, that's Canevel Bard, number four, who's currently in third position, as mentioned, McDonald, but still holding tough. In second is Ansi, but still, still very packed. There's three and three quarter so lap race. Last circuit just a little bit faster, a 57-3 through the through the finish line, 142 with two laps to go. So pace picks up. Looks like Ellis is starting to inch his way off the track. No, maybe not, he's still in. Yeah, Ellis was shooting for that 155, so he's gonna try to push it a little bit extra. 157, so just a couple of seconds behind the pace that was intended. So he comes off the track, and it's Ansi and Knevelbard, 1-2. So now Morgan McDonald, this yep. race has been set up nicely for him. Starting to move on the outside, Danny. Uh, yeah, he's whizzing right past. He's just overtaken Ansi. And there's Morgan McDonald, 2020 Olympian in the 5,000, the native of Sydney. NCAA outdoor champ in the 5,000. And here we go, one lap to go. There's the bell lap. And this one is still yet to be decided as they've been jockeying for position in the live. Kaneko taking over in second place, now trying to overtake McDonald. And McDonald 58-5 on that third lap. Keep in mind, this is McDonald's first race of his season coming off of injury. He looks good down the back stretch. And it's Mikudo Kaneko overtaking McDonald. Pushing McDonald into second place. And there's Ansi overtaking McDonald now. Looking a little antsy, as I might add. And now he takes over second place. And now in the final stretch, he blows right by Kaneko. And it's Ansi in first place. But McDonald is not giving up. The Australian Olympian trying to win this one at the Sunset Tour. It's McDonald turning on the Jets. McDonald getting right by Ansi as they come to the finish. McDonald will hang on. Ansi second and Kaneko third. What a finish. So Morgan McDonald running like the champion that he is. Again, we mentioned a four-time NCAA champion at Wisconsin, 339.09 for McDonald. Ansi, Ansi with a fine run at 339.41. Kaneko, 341.15. You see the results on the screen there. And this is McDonald getting ready for world championships. Again, coming off of injury and... Yeah, it's a new personal best for Mikudo Kaneko, blowing by his previous time from last year by almost four seconds. Morgan wow. McDonald, the Olympian in the 5,000, wins this one. That's his first 1,500 of the season. His previous personal best, just over 337, but what a fantastic race that we saw there. The McDonald, Ansi, and Kaneko, one, two, three in the men's 1,500. Morgan McDonald.